Have you ever worked with Drizzle and then you try to make a schema change and then all of a sudden, boom, your migrations blow up and you can't run your migrations anymore because you might have added a new foreign key constraint on an existing table in SQLite? Well, in this video, we're going to have a look at two ways on how you might be able to fix that, uh, even if you have existing data. First, let's create the problem. Let's uh, try to break our Drizzle migrations. Um, this is part of the series for the Next Hub course. And I think this is something important to know beforehand because we might be running into this while we create our application because we don't always know what our database schema is going to look like ahead of time. So we might want to add new columns over time and then hit this issue. So let's go to server uh, database and um, go to our schema. So in the last video, we've already created this basic users table. And today what we're going to do is we're just going to add some vanity properties and stuff just to showcase this issue for if we might run into it in the future, you know how to fix it. So I'm going to create a new table called subscriptions. Um, the subscriptions table is going to have a ID key of integer id primary key same as users so let's say this is the starting state of our database we don't know yet if subscriptions are going to be related to users let's just assume that and we use our helping command to generate our new sql file for the migration if we go to database and um, look at that sql that was generated in the migrations folder you can see it just creates the subscriptions table with an id integer primary key auto increment not null right so that works we run this migration by using um, the development server of next which will run our migrations with a nitro plugin and everything should go as expected we get a little check mark migrations completed great now if we go let's say We've created a bunch of users, created a bunch of uh, subscriptions over time. Now what we want to do is we want to relate our subscriptions to users. We want to be able to say, okay, this user has a subscription ID of this value. So what we'll do in that case is in our database, we'll go to our schema and we want to relate users to subscription and say that every user uh, can have a subscription. So we'll add a new key called uh, subscription ID in the database. We'll call that subscription ID. And this is going to be a references, which takes a function. And we're going to say subscriptions dot ID. And there we go. And we've messed something up. This has to be an integer because the primary key on subscriptions is integer. And there we go. So now we have a foreign key um, relation from users to subscriptions. And if we go generate our SQL, run that, everything seems to go fine. We have a nice migration. And now we want to run our migrations by doing uh, bun dev again, which is going to run our Nitro plugin. Everything looks like it's working and then all of a sudden, boom, migration failed, D1 error, SQL code did not contain a statement. So what just happened? So just a quick note, this is not an issue with Nuxtub or Drizzle or any of those things. It's actually a feature of SQLite where you cannot add new foreign keys to existing tables with an alter command. There are only a few things that you can do with alter, like add column and change the column name, etc. But you can't add a new foreign key. So let's go look at the SQLite and what happened. Uh, if we go to our database and schema that we already know, and let's look at this, the migration. And you can see it did alter table users add the subscription ID, but it never does. It does the references, but it never does the um, foreign key constraint. And the issue now is that we have this comment that is causing the uh, right after the statement breakpoint and the migration runner hits this comment. It doesn't understand it and forces you to look at the migration. And then it basically tells you that you cannot, um, it doesn't support adding foreign key to on existing column. So to just 
see what happened in the database let's go to our server and deactivate the nitro plugin for migrations because we know that it's broken now and we don't want to run it and then we can run our development server to inspect our uh, database so let's open the local host and our database should open and you can see we have users that has an id and subscriptions that only still has an id so that means the migration failed and it never applied the change of adding a um i mean to the users it still has an id it never applied the change of adding the subscription id which is a good thing because now we might be able to fix this by manually changing up our database so this is the migration file that was generated and if we go to our meta journal you'll see it also created a snapshot and within the snapshot it created the users table and the subscription id already exists on the meta but it's not run on our database yet and it also says that it wants to do this foreign key so that means that when we change our um, migration manually those uh, properties should still be the same and the first way i'm going to show you how to update your uh, migration manually is by following the sqlite docs best practice so the first step is to create a new table uh, this table can have any name but the structure should be the same as the existing table that you want to uh, create this new foreign key on so the initial structure with the foreign key then the second step is to copy over all the data from your existing table to the new table and then the next step is to drop your old table and then um, rename your new table to your old table's name and this has to happen in exactly that sequence um, according to the sqlite docs for example they don't recommend uh, creating or f renaming the old table and uh, creating the new table then copying or any different type of order um, so let's go to our database migration we have this file and we know what our users table looks like we delete all of that um, where we created our uh, users table is in the first migration so we can just copy that so that we know it's exactly the same and instead of users, we're going to say uh, users new. This is our new table, temporary table. And there was an ID and what we wanted to add was a um, subscription ID. And this subscription ID is also an integer and we need a comma over here. So we, we can't make it not null because um, if we have existing users in our database, then if we make it not null, that means we have to apply some sort of um, subscription ID to every user. But because we already had users running, we might be able to manually sort of select stuff and apply specific subscriptions to users. But um, in this case, we'll not make it not null. So we created our new table and then we're going to add our statement breakpoint just like they do um, let's just make sure we get it right there's no example of that but let's do i think it's and just delete that all right so we have our statement breakpoint so now that we've created our new uh, table we also need to add the foreign key on here so it already kind of infers what i'm doing uh, uh, the copilot and that's actually exactly what I want to do. So it's a foreign key on subscription ID, which references subscriptions ID. Um, that's exactly what we want our new table to look like. And now we have to do the SQLite steps to copy the old table and delete the data and everything. So the first step would be to do just that is to copy the old table. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, insert into users new select star from users and we can't just say select star because remember users only has one column it only has id at this moment in time so what we want to do is specifically say select id and then null as a subscription id 
So we're copying over all the, the, the user IDs and then we're copying null, we're just putting null values in all of the new subscription IDs so that there is no uh, foreign key relation. So let's go to um, the next step. So now we've copied over the data and what we want to do now is to drop our table, right? So we can say drop table users because now we have the users new that has all the data from users. And then we can say alt table users new uh, rename to users. And we don't need a statement breakpoint here. And so you might imagine if something goes wrong in these steps, so you might hit like the insert works, the drop works, but then alter table fails. What happens in that case? Well, Drizzle runs your migrations in a, a transaction. So if something goes wrong, everything is reverted. So you can have some safety on that. And just to be sort of extra sure, there's something else that we can do. We can say uh, pragma foreign keys off, and then we add a statement breakpoint over here. And then we can say pragma foreign keys on and just do that. So we should be able to um, just run this now. And we have to reactivate our uh, migration plugin by selecting all of this, uncommenting. And now if we run dev, our migrations should succeed because now we're doing all those steps to fix our database and actually have foreign keys and it looks like it does so we can go have a quick look at our database and now you see users has a id a subscription id and this subscription is just the vanity um, relation that drizzle puts on top of it and now we can say that or see that users has an id i mean subscriptions has an id and all the users that might have that subscription um, this might actually only have to be a one-to-one -one relationship but it is what it is. And now we can see that we've fixed our database. We've added a foreign key. So that deals with how to fix your migration when you have um, existing columns on your database and you add a new foreign key column, which wasn't on the, the table beforehand. But there's also the case where you might have a database um, table where the key for some foreign relation already exists but it doesn't have the foreign key constraint so there is already data in there but there is no uh, foreign key so you want to add a foreign key to an existing column and that is handled a little bit differently but let's have a look so let's start with creating another sort of toy table something like uh, export const videos and we'll create an id and a user id and but this, we won't add the foreign key constraint immediately. If we do that, it, it will work because it's a brand new table. So we can do the foreign key on the create table statement. But in this case, let's add just the reference to some user ID, but it's not um, enforced with a, a foreign key. So we'll add that. And then we can do the db generate command again to create our migration. If we go to uh, the server, you'll see that we have created this new migration, which creates a video videos table with the ID user ID, um, but there's no foreign key constraint. So this migration has already run, so it doesn't, oh, we, well, we're going to run it right now. So if we've already run this migration, we can't go back and edit that specific uh, migration file because it will be saved to the database already and let's also assume you've already inserted some videos and put the user id on there but you didn't um you didn't reference the the foreign key basically you just said insert video with this id and this user id but user id could have actually been anything but your code application code just made sure that you inserted the uh the correct user id so now what we want to do is we want to say, ah, eh, that's not really safe because what if we um, accidentally put an ID in there that isn't a user? Or what if a user gets deleted and that user doesn't exist anymore? So we want to put a foreign key constraint on that. So we'll go to videos and then just add the references, which now should put a foreign key constraint on that. 
um, we think everything's going to be great and we run our generate command and we try to run our migrations by starting our application and boom we run into the same issue again if we go back to the server um, database migrations look at what happened you'll see it doesn't even try to do anything it just knows that we we tried to um, you know add this thing to the table which it can't do so this migration never run and we're free to edit this file to um, to match what we need and if we go check the snapshot um, the videos should already have that foreign key so it knows that we've we've tried to add users ID so we should make sure that our new table uh, does match that so it's going to be exactly the same steps um, just with a few caveats where we created the the videos table and now we just add our foreign key to this and it should reference that so what we have to do is rename this to a new table exactly the same steps and then uh, add our statement breakpoint paste it over there and then in the next one we do all the same stuff we insert into videos new select id user id from videos and this case we don't have to make this null because we know there's some sort of user id on the videos table but this is where the catch comes in um, let's just finish all of this drop table hold the table rename and then put the foreign keys back on well, let me just fix that all right the catch over here is that um, we're just copying the the existing um, id and user id as is from the videos but like i said it could be that the users that was referenced in user id either doesn't exist it was an incorrect user id put in there or it could be that the um, existing user that was used and it was referenced correctly is now a deleted user so it didn't automatically make that link um, because there was no foreign key so this is a non-existing user now and when we run this migration what's going to happen is it's going to fail because there is broken references between the two so what should you do in that case well i'm going to show you the only thing you basically can do and that is we're going to deactivate the uh, migration plugin once more and then um, start our development server just to add a record which might be broken open our database and we have users and we have subscriptions so we're going to create a new user and it's going to be default null just like that so we have a user um, and we have videos so we're going to create a new video but in this case we're going to add a user id of let's say eight because this isn't a foreign key relation so we can add any type of user id we want in there and you can see that there is um, no user number eight and if we close this down go back to our application i mean our code and then activate our migrator again not in database in plugins and activate this again all right we've activated that again let's do one dev and now remember it's going to try to run our tweaked um, sort of uh, migration and it doesn't work because there is a foreign key constraint on our um, users because we that video user doesn't exist so basically the only thing we can do at this point is make a decision we either have to go into our database, run a query to select all the videos where that user does not exist, and then set that video ID to some user that does exist because that's broken state in our application. We we want to relate videos to users, but we can't if we you know if that user doesn't exist. So what we can do is either set that video's details to an admin user's ID or we can delete the video from our database and remove it from the application because it is broken state um, in the case of a video application it might make sense that this video already exists on there and it's playable and all the data is available we just don't know who uploaded it so it might make sense to if you have an admin account to set the um, videos foreign relation to the admin user's id and just act like it was that user that uploaded it 
but that comes with some caveats like what if it's bad content or what if there's some sketchy stuff going on and then you make that your issue because you supposedly uploaded that video so in the end it might just be better to delete that so either you can run that uh, directly as a um, as a database migration so you could say something like before we do all of this we can do like a um, delete from videos where the user ID is not found within the users table. So you can create your query over here to do that. But the issue with that is that, you know, maybe you want some finer grain control or you want to first select everything and see what type of users are there. So I would suggest using an application like Table Plus to connect to your database or maybe even the the one in built into Nuxt Hub's um, dev tools where you can see everything. Um, and I think today we'll do that. And then we'll go to our plugins and just de deactivate this again because our um, foreign key stuff is still broken. And we don't want to run migrations. In this case, we'll just run our server. And now we can see we have our table with the broken um, video. So what we might do, we have this nice S uh, SQL runner in here. So now we can use this SQL runner to basically select um, all our videos uh, from videos. And what we want to check is where the videos um, dot user ID is not in select star from no we don't want to select stars we just want to select id from users something like that if you have a huge table this might be very slow but what we're checking now is send me all the um, videos that don't have a, a user id that actually exists in the users table and then we get this back and we can see all the ids and stuff and what we might do is we can just select the id so we can say delete from videos where uh, videos dot id not oh videos dot id in select all of that and we want to select id from videos and not star so now we're deleting all of the videos that don't have a user id and we could have manually done this but that if you have a huge table that might be difficult so let's run this query and it says okay everything went smooth we go to videos we see nice we don't have any videos anymore so now that we've cleaned up our database let's go into our application uh, our server go to database uh, migrations and we've added this already so we want to now do the fix on our tables uh, go to the, oh, the plugin we want to reactivate because we already have that migration ready and ready to go. And then we can do bun dev and hopefully copy over all the stuff, rename the table and clean up our database to make it work again. Migrations completed. And if we do uh, dev one more time, I could have probably just done that directly, but now we can check our database. And if you look at videos, you can see that now it actually references the existing foreign keys correctly because that user actually existed. So we fixed our database. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And just as a reminder, this is a video part of a Nuxt Hub course I'm running called ship.sh. You can check it out. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Wishing you very, very lucky and happy drizzle coding and see you next time.